Hi, I'm James Vanderweer. I'm the CEO of F1 Solutions. I've co-owned F1 Solutions for about 22 years now. We run about 5,000 endpoints with around 30 employees, most of which are very technical. We're diversified in our verticals, but if I was to call out one vertical, I'd say it's compliance. We have a lot of clients in the medical, finance, government contracting, and legal that we assist with with their IT needs and compliance. Because of our focus on compliance, we're a very security aware company, both in terms of how we set up clients and the tools we use. Whether it be our antivirus, our anti-malware programs, threat detection, firewalls, DNS filtering, all those aspects are very important to F1 and are important throughout our culture. Before WebRoot, we were using what I'd call a placebo antivirus. It was there, it ran, it checked a box, it made people happy, but after looking at and testing the baselines, we never really felt like it was doing a good job, or really any job. So we found another product that looked promising. It was highly rated, great at catching the nasty stuff. We deployed it first to our network and it seemed to run great. We didn't see any issues. After deploying it to our clients, about three and a half, four thousand systems at the time, we started getting complaints. It turns out that F1 was running on fairly new systems, but not all of our clients were as up to date as we were. Even their mediocre systems were dying trying to run that AV. We got all sorts of complaints. The product did what it was supposed to do, but since it dragged the client systems down, it just wasn't going to work for us. So then WebRoot came highly recommended to us from another MSP. And again, the reviews were great. After again testing internally, we were really happy with it, and so we rolled it out in mass to our clients didn't run across any problems. I like the low footprint of WebRoot, the fact that it's easy to deploy. We can integrate it easily with our RMM solution and deploy it and manage it all through it. It's quick and easy to send out, and it keeps itself up to date. System performance is not an issue. Having experience with three or four other AVs, it was really that the agent was very small and unobtrusive, but still really doing something. It checked all the boxes we needed it to and all the ones it said it would. Several years ago, it wouldn't be uncommon for us to have two to four machines in our offices per month with viruses from our clients. Now we may get one every few months from nearly 5,000 endpoints. Of all our clients on our full stack, about 140, we have never had a client fall victim to crypto jacking or any significant virus for that matter, unless the system was not using part or all of our stack. That's pushing 5,000 endpoints, including servers, terminal servers, Macs, PCs. We've been using WebRoot's endpoint protection for about uh, four years now, and we've just begun testing and using and deploying their DNS product. Because we need to cover a new standard that mentions DNS filtering specifically as a must have, there is about 350,000 companies in the U.S. contracting for the U.S. Department of Defense. These need to meet varying degrees of compliance. Most are now subject to something called CMMC, the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification. CMMC has real teeth. Before a contractor can execute on a contract from the Department of Defense, they need an independent third-party verification to meet that criteria. This is an expensive process for them and it's probably gonna be pass or fail. So now we're aligning our tools with these new regulations and we're approaching our clients in advance telling them how DNS filtering will soon be required and that we can deploy it before they need it. With WebRoot's DNS solution, we can say, this product is already in your environment and you can satisfy this regulation just by adding DNS filtering. That's a huge value add to F1 and certainly to our customers.